Good morning. Let's talk a little bit about culture. Before we uh, started this assignment, my um, thoughts on culture were, I guess, very broad. Um, I considered it to be a geographical issue, um, also to deal with um, uh, ethnic backgrounds, and I have learned that there is much more to that as well. Um, I also looked at religion just as religion, and now I understand that that's a culture all on its own, and I'll talk more about that. Um, I have learned, uh, I guess through my own research, my own reflection, and then um, input from other students, um, that culture goes far beyond um, anything that I had mentioned in regards to geographical areas or um, ethnic backgrounds. Um, it can have to do with um, where you work, the kind of work that you do, um, maybe the kind of music that you listen to, um, or other interest that, you know, is shared by a large group. Um, and I think people um, maybe embrace a culture because it's comfortable, it's safe, um, it's familiar with what you know, um, and it kind of like family. And, um, and I think that's why, you know, people can identify with, with certain cultures. Um, the thing that really stuck out to me when I was thinking about this is that cultures evolve. They originate um, and develop on their own. They're not established with a set of bylaws and membership dues. Um, so they do, they just, they they just come to be. Um, and I think that cultures can adapt and and progress based on maybe some shifts in the uh, environment that they're located in. But I don't think you'll ever see the culture, um, their tenants have a major shift because that's the foundation that the culture is, um, is built on. And so it's important that that, um, that foundation stays intact. Um, also with cultures, something else I discovered is there's, there can be subcultures um, that exist, um, you know, within a culture. Let's take um, religion. Let's take Christianity. Think about how many different types of denominations that there are that are associated with Christian Christianity, but are very different in uh, maybe some of their beliefs or how they go about them, you know, how they worship. And so, um, to me, it's interesting that you can have your, your culture and then have subcultures, um, kind of offshoots of that. Um, and I do think that someone could change cultures, but it would really be up to that person to change many things about who they are in regards to how they behave, what they appreciate, what they believe in, because I don't see a culture making um, shifts to accommodate, you know, certain individuals. You're either um, getting on board and being with us and, you know, how we do things or, you know, go somewhere else. Um, da -da -da. Also, too, our culture's only partially define us. Um, it, it's part of who we are. It's not completely who we are. That's just my opinion. Because I look at, we have a lot of relationships outside of our own culture. And, and that's good. I mean, obviously we share something in common with these other people that we associate with as, as friends or, or whatever. Um, so there's, there's a common thread there. Even though that we come from different cultures. And I think that that's um, very beneficial. I think the more that we can look at other cultures, learn how they do certain things and why they do them that way, um, it's just a really good learning experience. It helps us to understand a different culture. And maybe we could take some of those practices and integrate them into our own and, and be better for it. Um, so really, 
this has been a really good um, learning experience for me because like I said at the beginning um, I only had a very broad view of the term culture and I think it's because I've never been forced to really um, consider it you know from a more uh, close angle and also from different angles um, and so it's been very good for me because it, it showed me that uh, cultures exist in um, just about every facet of our lives and our world um, and it's so much more than I said than you know just ge geographic or ethnic um, similarities it's it's more than that and, and I understand how far reaching um, they can be and so it's it's this has been really good for me to learn more about this and um, and being respectful of other cultures is something else I wanted to touch on um, because somebody does something different than you do or believes in something other than what you believe in does not make them incorrect whatsoever it's just um, how they know to do things how they think the best way to behave or what to appreciate and and we should respect that um, just as we would expect someone to be respectful of our individual culture that we may be associated with and again there is so much to be learned um, from other cultures and we should really embrace that keep an open mind and take the time to do that um, you know and I learned to it has to do, you know, cultures can uh, be involved in your workplace, the kind of work that you do, where you work at, you know, the, the term uh, corporate culture was brought up. And I'd heard that term, just like with music, you know, pop culture. I heard that term too, and only thought of it as a descriptive term. Didn't really think about the fact that, yes, those really are cultures and they're shared by individuals with um, the same interest and appreciations and so um, so it's important to keep that in mind especially in a counseling setting um, you know if you have the opportunity to um, have a client that's from a different culture it's going to be important you know that you work through the process and stuff but at the same time being respectful of their culture and not being afraid to ask questions um, if you feel like that um, how your process works or your presentation could um, maybe not be offensive but could cause setbacks in the process so I think it's important to uh, be sincere um, in asking questions in, in keeping an open mind being respectful in trying to learn something from your interaction you know with that client and I know sometimes we're afraid to ask questions about things that we don't know the answers to but this is a situation where um, that is of the utmost importance in order to uh, increase your chances of being able to help the individual or help them help themselves and so um, it's just something that I know personally that I need to um, keep in mind and also to do not make assumptions based on the person's appearance about their culture um, because that could really get you in a mess. I mean, you know, uh, say you had someone that, you know, appeared to be Hispanic. Like, you know, so you're assuming, you know, from Mexico, Mexican culture, and they're actually from somewhere in South America, and it's a lot different. So just be careful about making assumptions, you know, about that. So anyway, overall, it's been a um, real eye-opener for me, very educational. And I look forward to um, learning more about this and, and some of the other subjects that we're going to uh, discuss in this class. So thank you for your time, and we will talk to you again soon.